going to be doing a video review of Transformers Robots in Skies issue 22 from IDW. This is Dark Cybertron. This is the second part and the conclusion of the Soundwave Origin two-part uh, story arc. I love the cover. It's the exact opposite of what we had last time. Instead of Soundwave reflected in Shockwave's chest with his buddy behind him, it's Shockwave reflected in Soundwave's chest with his buddy behind him. Absolutely love the cover. Moving on. Uh, opens up with a flashback to Soundwave and Shockwave, and Soundwave is taking out, is getting ready for the process to convert Sa Senator Rapat into his cassette. And Shockwave is like, you know, I remember when you, when I was supposed to turn Rumble and Frenzy into join your beasts. You claimed they were equals. And Ravage is like, this guy bothering you. He's like, don't call me that, Ravage. And former Senator Shockwave immediately needs to learn some are more equal than others. Um, here he is trying to punish evil. Senator Ratbat, as you can tell, because he loathes the guy. Going to present day, we can see that they're fighting. Um, he says that you are alone, and then he's like, I am not alone. He, you know, his cassettes come out, and there's an amazing shot right there. He tells them all to eject, and Ravage is all like, I decide you made a mistake, boy. Time to take you down, boy. That's how Ravage sounds in my mind. And then it talks to um, Megatron talking to Soundwave. And it's a very early meeting of them. Uh, and uh, Soundwave, you know, Shockwave's mouth. Megatron's starting to say, um, I guess you're someone's servant. And, you know, he's like... Soundwave says that... Uh, let me rephrase. I listen, I know... Everything. I hear everything. Everything. So let me rephrase. I know how to use the senator to help us. What we need to do is we need to get you, all the Decepticons, not just you, captured. And then the senators will be forced to come to Kaon to confront this decision, in which case you can assassinate them. Kill them all. Which they do. Then it cuts to um, the battle, they're beaten up, Shockwave's about to blow Soundwave open, Ravage jumps in the way, Ravage blows up, Soundwave gets in rage mode, like a boss, and he uh, fights back, although it doesn't really do much damage, but uh, he does, Soundwave, I'm not Soundwave, Ravage does immediately regenerate, and Soundwave, Shockwave goes, because of my scheming, life and death are merely concepts, concepts that can be done away with. And so he says, I'm going to show you what you stand against, and then it cuts to his flashback, where um, Shockwave and his first meeting Soundwave and Megatron, and Soundwave saying that he was the first Cybertronian I had ever met that I could not understand, I could not feel, I hated him immediately. And uh, he says that because he was perfection, he knew he would have to kill him. And he says he does not trust him, openly, to Megatron. And then he knew he'd have to kill him, but not now, not here. I mean, it's a great fight scene. We see Frenzy get blown to bits. Obviously, he's fine because of the War 14. And same thing to Shockwave. Um, then it cuts to um, Shockwave and talking, I mean, Soundwave talking to Megatron. And they start discussing about, um, you know, they're talking and they're chit chat. And he's like, you know, your master provides us he, he, with weapons, he profits off our, our chaos. And yet, Cybertron is damaged in the process. He asks, does it bother you? And Soundwave says, I try, I try not to let it. And he tells them that, you know, you need to let your emotions, you don't, don't let your, uh, your emotions get ahead of you. He's like, they're not my emotions, they're others. He's like, you know, she's like, uh, your emotions get in the way, and he's like, you know, they, something, something like that, they are not my emotions. And he's like, and your creature's here. And he goes, that uh, they're they're friends, not creatures. And then Megatron says, "I know," and he tells, and he thinks that um, he likes, he admires Megatron because he can tell that when he speaks, he is telling the truth and only the truth. It is the honest, um, his opinion, and he doesn't lie. And he admires that. Uh, he doesn't want to block his opinions. At least he sees Ravage in them as equals. And um, he asks him what he wants, and Soundwave says, I'm, "It's not my place." But then he tells him that uh, you want equality. And then it shows Soundwave and his buddies, his Cassetticons, leaving Shockwave's base. And Dreadwing tells him, you know, you can't let them leave. And he's like, the only op, the, no one could die here. Only option was a stalemate. Letting them leave is the illogical, of course, to avoid delay in his plan. GX tells him that the Titan is ready to come. And Orion Pax and the others 
are on Gorlam Plyme, the one consumed by the Death Orb. And he says, Yet they live, as you ask. I did not just ask, Geoxys. I commanded, as his titan, with Mothbinate, Mothbinator, Catarizing, right here. <laughs> no, Mothbinator, Piloting, right up there. Then it comes to um, when Soundwave first met Senator Ratbat, and Senator Ratbat, you know, he's all like, I can help you get a new life away from these beasts you can sort with. And he says, that, and he thinks that uh, he hated his, 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 his vile functionalist words. But he knew, he focused on him, he focused on everything. He focused on Ratbat, and it helped him long enough till he could get to his brothers. Um... And he says that Brotherhood holds me together. The Brotherhood of Decepticons. How in a way he needs this alliance. It helps him tremendously. And then, you know, the Triple Changer are like, Yo, what happened? And he's like, um, He saw the permit of imp uh, he saw the pursuit of information without limit and found it wanting. A lesson I had learned long ago. And Blitzwing's like, so did you stop it? And, you know, the sun starts rising, much like we saw earlier with uh, Autobots. I guess we're seeing, you know, what the Decepticons were doing. And they're like, well, I guess that answers that. And he's like, what is it? He says, the, remote, the result of four million years of planning in the beginning of our most important battle, all of us together, for the Decepticon cause, the only true Decepticon saw cause, the salvation of Cybertron. Um, and then it cuts to a final flashback, and it shows Ravage, Laserbeak, and Buzzsaw walking around. And he's like, so I said, Cybertron Salvation? Yeah, right. You want the Energon Senator? Go get it yourself. I'm not going back there. Not today. And he's like, and the Soundwave, and, I mean, Laserbeak and Buzzsaw are like, no, you didn't. And then they see, um, they, he's like, you know, Soundwave's like, what do you smell? And he's like, I smell fear. And they go up to someone, and they're like, you okay? And it's Soundwave on the ground, all confused. He's like, sounds, lice, tastes, smells everywhere. So many. And they ask him who he is. He's like, I, I, he basically, you know, stutteringly says, I, I don't know. So many. He knows who his name is, and Ravage is like, how? He's like, I can hear everyone. I can see everything. I, I can see everything about everyone. He's like, how'd you end up on the street? Not in the Institute. As you know, like, man... They'd have a field day messing with you. He's like, you know, he's like, I hate so many terrible voices. And he's like, you know, he's like, charming. I can see why you're out in the gutter. He's like, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. It's just the emotions are so strong. And, uh, Ravage is like, he's like, you smell like an alright guy. I, I can smell things like that. Things most people can't. But I had to learn to focus myself. To fix on one thing at a time. Maybe that's what you gotta do. Focus on what? Anything you can. And it, uh, it shows how he says how Ravage saved him. He helped him find what he needed to find, and he saved him that day. And it says that, um, it does not matter if I understand Shockwing. All that matters is that I stop him. Sound waves. The story continues in Dark Cybertron issue one. Then, into more than meets the eye, issue 23. Uh, I loved it. Yet again, and uh, I might not, I probably won't do this next week, but I have to give it another 10 out of 10. I am. Uh, great flow back and forth, and uh, the ending alone gives it a solid, like, t two points. You know, it shows the bond between Ravage and Soundwave, that, you know, Ravage, even though Ravage is the one inside Soundwave, Ravage in them saved Soundwave. That, that's the friendship that has grown between the two. Because he is very much a savior for Soundwave. And Soundwave holds him above all because the two have been close forever. And it shows that, you know, something I like is that Soundwave and Ravage, you know, these guys, they're not pure evil. In fact, the only guys here that they've shown here who seem to be pure evil 100% Is the only guy in this issue really that's pure evil? I mean, Senator Ratbat, he was pure evil, and Shockwave, he seems like he's going to be the real pure evil of Dark Cybertron. But you know, it shows that now even Ravage and them Decepticons as they are, they weren't truly evil. And then the story will be continued with the Autobots and the Decepticons at their weakest. The motionless master of strategy, Shockwave, makes his move, and the fate of the universe is at stake. 
and this robot in the Dark Cybertron issue one is going to start the first ever crossover between More Than Meets the Eye and Robots in Disguise. Um, I can't wait for that. It's, it's going to be fantastic. And then we're going to get to see, um, you know, it's going to be Dark Cybertron Part 1 will be Dark Cybertron Issue 1, then with Optimus and them, and it's going to be Dark Cyber More Than Meets the Eye Issue 20 through Part 2, and then Robots in Disguise Issue 23, Part 3. Um, yet again, I, I just, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. I had no problem with this one. I absolutely loved it, just like the last one. Uh, it might be a little while before I give another new issue as it comes out a 10 out of 10, but both of these were just tens out of tens, and I would recommend, not only would I obviously recommend starting the Robots in Disguise issue, especially since they're starting a huge major crossover that Brooke I'm in at, but I'd highly recommend going back and getting these. This one came out like a week or two ago, this one came out roughly a month ago, but I would definitely say track these down, because they, they're amazing. Um, but uh, to close this up, this has been Ian giving you another review. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.